When you look at Glamby Nutritionals and our involvement in bars, bar chemistry, bar development, we have a very long history. And as we recognize that consumers want to get more protein, what we're seeing is that the protein demand that consumers have, along with the application of nutritional bars, is merging together. If you're a customer and you'd like to launch a new bar, uh, you would first of all decide what type of a bar you wanted to launch, identify the different parameters associated with bar manufacturing, the protein content, nutritional parameters, the type of protein, what market you're going to go into. And once you have those parameters set, then you can come and start doing the development work. We can do iterations, about one every hour, hour and a half, crank out a new bar formula, test it, taste it, change it, modify it. And then once we reach a endpoint that the consumer is happy with, we can take it out to the pilot plant. We have a mini bar extruder. We can run the bars on the extruder. We can enrobe them with a chocolate or yogurt coating, whatever's desired. Put them in our tempering cabinet and then package them and give our customer that finished prototype that they can take back to show their colleagues. So one of the biggest challenges in making bars is shelf life. Nutritional bars get very hard in a short period of time. So initially they're, they're soft, they're, the texture's really nice, and in the first few weeks you see them become hard and then the texture can become unacceptable. One of the things that we've worked on now, probably for the better part of 10 years, is to design proteins that allow you to extend that shelf life. So we've designed these proteins to, you'll, see, you'll still see a little increase in hardness, but we figured out how to make these bars plateau so that the hardness doesn't increase as dramatically over that extended period of time and they stay within the texture parameters that the customer wants. The other challenge that we're seeing right now in the bar market is general consumers are requiring something that tastes very good. As you look at the market that's emerging uh, and consumers want more, more indulgent and more types of flavors, you find different ways to incorporate the protein into those so that you can hide the protein, if, if you want to call it that, in different parts of the bar. So, for example, you can put protein in the coatings. Uh, we've developed several different protein ingredients that can go into the coatings, a yogurt coating, a chocolate coating, and the coating still functions the same. Looks the same, tastes the same, but you get the additional protein. You could also maybe put some protein in a caramel layer. So some of these uh, more indulgent bars have a caramel layer across the top, but again, you're bringing protein in as a, in, with a different carrier. That's one of the areas that we've done a lot of research in, and we feel like we've made a lot of good progress in being able to provide consumers added nutrition in protein bars and nutritional bars and bring a good taste and flavor. So if you're looking for a place to do bar research, to develop bar prototypes, the Collaboration Center is an ideal place to come with the scientists that have developed expertise with the equipment that we have. It provides an ideal environment to go from concept to prototype in a few days and deliver a bar that's acceptable to the consumer.